I'm Ashley Dorff, and I'm here at the Rightfully Hers exhibit, which commemorates the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment by exploring the diversity of women and strategies that were critical to winning women the right to vote. You may have heard of famous suffragists like Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Susan B. Anthony, and Alice Paul, but winning women's suffrage required the activism of millions of women whose stories often go untold. Women like Marie Louise Botnew Baldwin. She was born in 1863 and was a part of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa Indians in North Dakota. In 1904, she was appointed as a clerk in the Office of Indian Affairs and was a respected and outspoken member of the Society of American Indians. Baldwin wore her native dress in her official employee file photo at a time when the federal government urged Native American assimilation. But that's not all. In 1912, she started law school at the age of 49 and finished in two years instead of three. Baldwin also marched in the 1913 Women's Suffrage Parade in Washington, D.C., along with other female lawyers. For more information concerning minority women in the suffrage movement, come visit Rightfully Hers here at the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C., or visit us online at museum.archives.gov.